Stop. You don't want to move to Claremont unless you can handle these five things. There are so many amazing things about living here in Florida, which is why everyone's moving here. But today I want to go over the top five things that you need to know before you move to the Claremont area. So let's get right into it. Okay, number one, I know you're thinking it, so let's just talk about the elephant or AKA alligator in the room. Ah! <laughs> like many of you, I'm not a Floridian, but when I married my husband, who's a native Floridian and a skier, water skier, uh, we spend a lot of time in the lakes. And my number one question was, what about the alligators? I can tell you Lake County, we have over a thousand lakes in this county. So there are alligators. You have to assume there's alligators in every body of water here in Florida. However, let me tell you this statistic. The state of Florida has been tracking alligator attacks since 1948. And the numbers show that you have a one in 3.1 million chances of being attacked by an alligator here in Florida. So to give you reference, you have a 500 times more likely chance of being attacked by a raccoon than an alligator. Now a raccoon, just like an alligator and all other wildlife, you don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. Number two is thunderstorms. In the summer months, you can assume that there's gonna be a mid to late afternoon thunderstorm. Now this thunderstorm can last anywhere from 10 minutes and be sunny afterwards, 30 minutes, be sunny afterwards. You ask any teacher or parent and they're gonna say it comes right around dismissal time. You learn that you just carry an umbrella in your, in your bag or in your car during those summer months and rest assured, the sun comes out again. Number three is love bugs. Now, if you've never heard of a love bug, let me describe what it was because before I moved to Florida, I had no clue what a love bug was. So to me, they remind me of lightning bugs. Um, they're delicate and light. They don't have the glow to them though. Um, and the good news is they don't bite and they don't sting. They just get everywhere. Um, they, their mating season is when they tend to swarm, which is in the late spring and the late summer. So twice a year, we get them a lot. If you drive on the highway a lot, this is where it becomes a problem because they get all over your car. So if that's the case, I would highly recommend getting a membership to the local car wash. Number four is politics. In the past, Florida has been more of a purple state and we're seeing that it's leaning more red. We've seen a lot of people relocate to Florida from the more restrictive states like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, California, Canada, and they're moving to Florida a lot over COVID um, because of the way that the government managed COVID. It's become more known as the freedom state here in Florida, and people are choosing to move here to be more free to do what they want. Um, Claremont and uh, the surrounding areas have always tended to be more red and we're seeing it leaning even more red. So people that have more liberal views, we're seeing them move to areas that are more in line with their belief systems. Number five is hurricanes. Now, if you're on the coastline of Florida, you're gonna prepare differently than we prepare here in Central Florida. In Central Florida, by the time it gets to us, it's typically a tropical storm. And in Claremont, we're in the hills of Claremont. Claremont sits on the mid-Florida ridge. And we're not concerned about flooding here. What we're preparing for is a power outage. And what that typically looks like is a tree limb will fall on a power line and then you're without power for a little bit. So we're really preparing for a power outage. I can tell you in the 20 years, this household has never lost power. Do we prepare every hurricane to lose power? Absolutely. But we've been fortunate enough yet to not ever lose power. So to recap, if you're looking to move to the Claremont, Florida area, you'll wanna be fully aware of the alligators, thunderstorms, love bugs, politics, and hurricanes. Now, I hope you found this information helpful and be sure to like and subscribe my channel to get all the updates and the happenings here in the Claremont area. If you're looking to move to the Claremont area, I would love to help you. You can call me on my cell at 407 820-7017, and we can start the conversation of finding you your perfect home. If I don't see you here in Claremont, I look forward to seeing you around the neighborhood.